This video is all about our top of the range air spring post mount system and if you've got a few minutes we'd love to show you just how to put this system up. I'm going to stow the process on a standard lighting column that you might find on any high street or urban location. The operator's working from a mobile access platform and he's established where he wants to put his top bracket. So to hold the top bracket in place, he's going to temporarily attach a cable clip. All this is doing is just holding it to give him two hands free to put on the permanent stainless steel banding straps. We recommend the TamTalk system, which is an excellent adjustable stainless steel system similar to a Jubilee clip. The Air Spring is a wind releasing banner system. And it's important that the bracket is the right orientation. You'll notice that there's a spring on the bracket. And for the upper bracket, this is in the upper position. The operator tensions each of the banding straps in turn. A total of three banding straps are fitted to each bracket. The reason for this is when the wind exerts a force onto the bracket, important it doesn't twist or turn before the spring has an opportunity to release the wind loading and diffuse the gust and the pressure that that puts onto the lamp post. We've got our three banding straps now securely in place. We turn our attention to the banner itself. The banner's been made with a pocket on the top edge and the glass fibre arm is slid into that pocket. We're using a 750mm uh, wide banner and the arm itself is 800mm wide. That gives a small amount of tolerance for both errors in the banner size and also to allow for a little bit of movement. A pin is passed through the arm and the bracket and then a cable tie is used to connect the banner itself to the pin. There's no force exerted onto this when it's actually in use, it's just a little securing device to prevent the banner from slipping along the arm. Now the banner can be lowered. Because the air spring system reduces the wind loading and spills gusts as they hit the banner, we can use a larger banner size than on any of our other systems and this is illustrated with a two and a half metre by 75 centimetre banner. The operator has noted the position of the bottom bracket and is again securing it temporarily using a banding strap. Now the permanent steel straps can be attached. Again, a total of three are used. Once the first bands are secured, the temporary tie wrap can be released, and then the final band is put into place. You'll notice here that the spring on this bracket is in the lower position. This again is so that when the wind gust loading hits the banner, the spring can do its job and release the wind. Checks the final position of the back banding. We now have a nice secure 
bracket ready to use. Next, the bracket is put under tension by putting the armour in temporarily, lifting upwards and then inserting a screwdriver into the back of the bracket so that the hole itself is now angled slightly upwards. It's then slid into the pocket of the banner and inserted. This means that the banner itself is attached in a neutral position and that there is some adjustment available before the tension is put onto the banner itself. Pins pass through the arm in the same way as it was on the top and then by pushing up again, taking the screwdriver out, the spring brings the arm down and brings the banner tight. Tie wraps pass through the lower eye and the lower pin and then the excess is trimmed away. This gives a complete installation. The whole banner is tight. You should see it secure on both the inside and the outside edges and both arms horizontal.